time I was that deep in the truck. Oh, wow. Well. Oi, lad. How's it going, then? I am well. And you? Oh, I can't complain. There was something I've been meaning to tell you. I met your dad. It was a long time ago, in London. I was just a boy. Well, didn't meet him, really. Just saw him do a fella in at the London Opera House. I was sitting in the balcony with an uncle of mine. Went to have a piss. And when I came back, there's your dad. Dashing as they call me was. Shirt, jacket, immaculate. My uncle was just slumped there. Looked like he was sleeping, but I knew better, even if I was only a child. Your da locked eyes on me. <laughs> and I don't think I've ever been so frightened as I was in that instant. It wasn't a fear that he was going to cause me pain. It was this sense that he saw right through me, into my heart, and he would crush it if it had pleased him. But he didn't. He just raised his finger to his lips and gestured for my silence. I complied. And then he was gone. That must have been in the days before his betrayal was made public. He would have sailed for the colonies not long after. I'm astonished that you were actually there. You can imagine my surprise when I saw his face. It took me a while to piece it together, but uh, there you have it. Thought you'd like to know. Thank you. How are you faring? I'm not bad, not bad. All this reminds me of being back in the old country. Fighting for land, fighting for the right to see God my way. It didn't take long before I realized the fight was futile, except aboard a ship bound for the colonies. People over there are so wrapped up in how you perceive the Lord, they forget we're all part of his flock. Stories change, Connor. The way people tell them evolves. It's no different in the Bible, and I believe that's the real root of all the strife back home. But nobody wants to listen to me. If you don't see it their way, you're a heathen. But I feel we're honestly making a difference here. That our presence is felt, if not appreciated by all. And it makes me sleep easy at night, and that's all a man can ask for, really. I would like to visit your home country someday. How would you know? You'd turn a head or two in the Emerald Isle, I'll tell you that. Maybe one day I'll muster up the courage, go back, I'll bring you with me. <laughs> It'd be good for a laugh at any rate. 